Hi everyone. Let's see. We're just waiting for Max and Harvey. Okay, here we go. We're gonna add them. Hello. What's up, guys? Wait, we're missing a ring light. Yeah, we we should have planned better for this. It's all right, Harvey. You just come come sit down yeah, we'll, here. I'll come in. I'll, we'll, we'll be all right. You're good. I got the ring light covered for you guys. We're Thanks. sharing it. There you go. Hi, guys. Hello. Thank you for joining us. We're now kicking off a brand new series on Sweetie High called Sweetie High Live, and you guys are our first guest. Oh, we first! Yes. Incredible! All right, we, be we go. better make a good impression, then. We've got to make this first one a banger. I'm now scared. There you go. There you go. We're testing you guys, okay? Okay. <laughs> now, okay, so where are you guys right now? What have you been up to during quarantine? Um, so we are currently back in the UK. Uh, we have been for quite some time now, and... We've been, we've been in our house for a pretty long time now. We've uh, slowly been kind of seeing a few friends, obviously social distancing, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not been the easiest thing in the world. But in the meantime, we've actually been filming a TV show, which we've just wrapped the other day. Uh, so we did 12 episodes of that, but that's on TV in the UK. So unfortunately, uh, US people aren't able to watch that unless they get a VPN, I think. But yeah, it's, right, it's really so cool. it's called FOMO, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now tell us a little bit. If we haven't seen it, what can we expect on the show? So FOMO is just like an incredible burst of energy that we put on TV. We have so much fun. Uh, we tend to sort of link to quite a few CBBC shows, which is the network over here in the UK. And we do loads of challenges. We talk to uh, a load of guests we know, like uh, Holly H, Kyle Thomas, TikTokers that you might know. Uh, and loads of other cool people and it's just really fun and we've enjoyed every second of filming of it now you guys obviously i'm sure you guys are filming it alone how has that been the whole process filming alone in quarantine it was it was actually really crazy for us to kind of like get to know all the cameras and stuff like that because they sent over a really nice camera but we had absolutely no idea how to use it so you're we just had to pressing kind of... all the buttons yeah, along. exactly. We we were just kind of guessing, but we had our producers on the on FaceTime uh, so that we could kind of talk to them through that. And they, they were actually right. looking at the screen. We had like a clamp set up on the camera so that they could look at the screen. Yeah. Uh, so it was it was quite cool setup. But uh, yeah, we got there in the end. We're, by, by episode 12, we, we got it nailed. You made it. Now, when when's the new season next season coming out? Are we already prepping for it or a little break? We 100% are. So we have the rest of our series. So for the lockdown, we wanted to get a load of content out, a load of new content so people weren't re-watching the same stuff uh, during lockdown. So people had something to watch. So we did it as quickly as possible. And we did 12 episodes of that. And then we've got 20 episodes later on in the year. Not sure exactly what time, but it's definitely starting later this year. So that should We be are fun. technically taking a bit of a little break from FOMO at the moment. Yeah. Got it. Now, what was the favorite episode to film this season out of the 12? Ooh. Can you guys pin one down? I, I really liked that. I mean, the first one we did was so much fun. I think that was with Holly H because we were all new to it. Like even, even when we were on the call with Holly, we were just kind of explaining to her that even we were, you had no what idea we what was going on. Uh, so it, it was a lot of fun. And she taught us how to renegade, uh, which was just great and terrible that. at the same time it was it both well, good and bad you guys have been on a little tiktok craze hey we're seeing a lot of tiktoks a lot of tiktoks with your family members yeah oh yes your sister's yeah. making a lot of appearances she she makes a ton of appearances she's quite good at the dances so she teaches us how to do them because we're absolutely useless so she i, I feel that bad. with tiktok with me it's like i have two left feet i'm like i can't i can't get it no matter how many times i try we have four left feet because there's two of us so it's, 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 it's double even bad. more left yeah. feet it's just so many well, left feet. you guys may be have beaten me on that one but what yes. would you guys say your favorite tiktok dance would be oh i really liked the um the glasses one uh the oh was it the banana i think it's called banana right um by shaggy I think uh so. you know the uh shake with it cool drop oh yes yes yes, yes, yes that yes. one yeah, yeah with the way you the glasses. Yes. I, am, I like that one. We've done this thing, and we're, we're so close to 100%, which we will be filming soon. We've got this percentage going on where we do oh. this.
Just Dance to um, the workout remix. And it's so bad, but like, it's just we get more energetic every time. Sorry about that. Apologies. It I just. I love that. Have you guys. Gets kind of crazy. Gosh, no, you're good. Now, you guys are also hosting your own Instagram live, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes, we are. And apologies if we're a little bit behind. I don't know. Something may have gone wrong with the signal there. No, um, the leg. Yeah, yeah we... you're good. Yeah, so we're, we're uh, doing our own Max and Harvey It's Alive uh, at the moment. We thought, we thought as well as FOMO, we wanted to give something else, uh, some form of hour-long entertainment that people could watch. This that's fairly regular. Obviously, we couldn't do it every single night. Otherwise, we would probably right. lose our minds. But uh, yeah, we've been trying to do as many as we possibly can. And we've pretty much hit every single Wednesday and Sunday for the past seven or eight weeks at least now, probably. I think so, so yeah. Somewhere around there. So we've been doing it for quite some time now. It's been so you fun. guys try and do an hour long live? Would you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Wow. A lot of talking. <laughs> it's it's you. We honestly surprise ourselves. There's every some singing in there as well. Yeah, also, we do. We do a little yeah. bit of singing. Um, okay. There's a lot going on. Can we see one tomorrow from you guys? Is it tomorrow? You guys are going um, live. Yeah, that, that we. Yeah, I believe so. It should be <laughs> unless, unless something goes wrong. We always let people know if something's gone wrong. I think there's there was one time where we had to reschedule one. Or, oh no, no, we missed one, didn't we? Yeah, we missed. There one. was one that we missed because we had like a filming problem, um, which was actually to do with Vomo. But um, we we recovered the next the next one. But other than <laughs> oh <laughs> my, my phone's just acting up today. I'm so sorry. It's all good. Don't worry. Well. No, you know what? It's good because you'll go out and but it'll come back like very quickly so there's and even even we've lost signal oh now. yeah we, amazing this... set we it, it's not too go. bad it you guys are back with me bit, but that's <laughs> it's just because every because everyone's at home using wi-fi at the moment it's so like appalling trying to get exactly stuff to exactly so, exactly you just gotta work now with you guys you what would you say that's, yeah, that's like our new plugin. life. We're working, we're learning. Exactly. Now, what would you guys say you guys are most excited for once this is all over? Going back in the studio, going back to touring? Well, Max and I, Max is going to find a charger, so I'll answer that. <laughs> Basically, we actually have a studio at home right now that Max has managed to set up in his room. So I would have said going and recording songs but we may already be doing that anyway uh so Ooh. i think one thing that max and i really want to do other than get back out doing shows that's one of our favorite things to do uh, on a more kind of like personal level we love trampoline parks that's like one of our favorite things uh to do wow. and go and go and uh just go to i guess so i think we're gonna try and do like a hit as many of those as we can around the country <laughs> and then, how fun yeah. that'd be a nice little celebration little fun yes. celebration out of quarantine as soon as it's allowed that that's the plan um and then i think after that obviously we want to do as many of the shows obviously that we couldn't do beforehand because obviously a lot got cancelled uh just right. before we we were we were meant to be doing so much stuff right now that is just not happening anymore which is such a shame but um we're hoping to be able to get back on to that as soon as possible and here we go we've got a charger now so we're all set there we go perfect <laughs> Sorted. well i know a lot of your your guys's fans are so excited to see you guys back in action and we actually took to our instagram story to ask some of your fans some questions they want to hear from you guys so Amazing. i have some questions if you guys are ready we're ready to answer them we're, we've been right, born ready so the first one harvey there were a bunch of questions around your hair people are I, wanting yeah. to know what color is next well uh you know what just just so that you guys can see so as you can see sometimes i pin it back because i've got to a point now where i'm not allowed to get a haircut so i can't see but just for okay. everyone's entertainment i will show you exactly what it looks like when i take all the pins out and i'm sure right, a lot of girls out there know the that this this um this doesn't always uh, end up quite as, you know, glamorous as you'd hope when you do something like this. Hang on, I'm All trying right, to find it. This is gonna be this is gonna be the worst thing probably ever. <laughs> it's already go it's already going bad. You can look, look at how long it is. 
There's so much. My oh mom my was gosh. only. My mom was laughing at me this morning because of how ridiculously thick my hair is. She was like, "This doesn't make any sense," and I was like, "It does That's make a good sense. thing though. You're well, lucky." Yeah, but I also haven't had a haircut in like four Very or five true. months now. So, however long we've been in lockdown. So yeah, there it is. That's uh, wow. Look at I, that. I honestly don't know what color I'm gonna go next because. I've pretty much hit all of them now. I think the last one I could do, it would be yellow. However, Ooh, okay. I, don't think, I don't think I can because of how dark the blue is. I don't think it would work. We have a little friend, though. Yeah. It's Pingu. <gasps> but she's a bit fidgety because it's her, it's her playtime. She wants she, to run she around. Doesn't how wanna, old she doesn't is she? How old is she? I think she's about 12 weeks now. Maybe yeah. 13 weeks. So Sorry, really what's young. her name? What, Pingu. What did you... Pingu. That's I don't know if you guys. I don't know if you guys have that cartoon in America, the penguin. Uh, it's like a. It's it, it, you probably don't. It's like a Swedish cartoon, but we have it in the UK, and it's like it's a massive meme. Um, Pingu. So we named, we named so our cute. kitten after a meme, basically. Yeah. Love yeah. that. I've heard. Yeah. I've heard of crazier. So you're. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. Now, okay. So also <laughs> another question is, what has been your favorite color that you've dyed your hair so far? I really liked um, when, so I, did you see when we did the 24 hour live stream? Yes. So, okay, I like that. So the pink that I did in the live stream, I, I think like that's, that. that's my favorite one. But I, a lot okay. of people disagreed. A lot of people said their favorite was purple, which I also really liked. But my personal favorite was the bright pink. What was so yours? This, pink? What you have right now is like a bluey purple, right? You yes. have both in there. Okay. Yeah. When when I show it like that, you can see it a bit better. There's the there is purple in there. Very but, cool. Yeah. It's it's a it's a mess basically right now. It's well it's I'm excited mess. to see what you choose. I like it. I like how Thank you're you keeping it new and fresh. Oh yeah. Just just Always. a complete surprise to everyone, even myself. I don't All even right. know what it's going to be. <laughs> there you go. It's a new surprise for everyone. Yeah. Once you find out, that's when we'll, we'll find out with you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, you guys, second question. Farthest a fan has ab ever traveled to see you that you guys know of? We know. So we know that people have come from Israel. Australia. Australia. Someone okay. came from Australia to, uh, to at least three, three of the shows in the, in the UK. Because one of the things that we have right now is that obviously it's a lot easier for us to do a tour in the, of the UK rather than like travel to right. all these other places because it's so hard for us to get to those places and find venues there. Um, so obviously we do have those insanely dedicated fans who literally travel. I mean, we've had people from Brazil, people from Australia, people from Israel. America. I think, yeah, we've had people from America, uh, Wisconsin specifically. Um, and yeah, the, the, Where there's, did that I, I said, Wisconsin. I <laughs> said it in the accent because it just sounds wrong. If I said, Wis Oh, there you go. Annoying, is that we got Max, you guys. <laughs> you know what? Max I'm is never popular. Max is never popular, but I'm I think he's popular. had more people call him oh. during this live stream than ever in his life. It's so stressful. So we oh, just Oh wow. All they over they the place. must have known we were doing this and we're just trying to mess with you guys. They're trying to get that sweetie high clout. That's what they want. Yeah. That's that, that's <laughs> the sweetie that's, high live clout. That's exactly, it. Exactly. Yeah. They're trying to swoop in on that and they ain't having any of it. <laughs> <laughs> so long story short, you guys basically have the best fans that will travel travel wherever to see you guys. I'd say so. I think oh, yeah. I think we have the best fans in the world. And if anyone wants to fight us about it, they can go through them because I quite honestly think that our <laughs> go fans to Twitter. Yeah. Because I <laughs> I genuinely believe that if you want to pick a fight with our fans, don't. You're going, you're going down. Don't. Because they are the best. So. One thing I will say is, why don't we fans hold their ground? That's for sure. Well, <laughs> those those guys. Yeah, I still think our fans are better. No, I, I, no, I, yeah, I agree. But I think, yeah. The, why don't we fans are up there? Okay. <laughs> Maybe Max and Her Harvey and why don't we? We'll just agree with that. Best fans ever. Yeah, we should all just like combine and 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 have an army like and go for it. I like that idea. Form, form I like an that idea. Form, form an alliance. That's yeah. That's that's the best best option. Now, you guys, third question: How many times would you say it takes you guys to film a cover or a TikTok? It it actually depends on how well we already know the song. I think an average song will probably take us at least seven or eight takes, maybe. 
uh, if we're recording it like completely live, um, which is pretty much every single time. Um, but you know, it, it, it depends. Some, sometimes we do get lucky and do the first take and go, wow, that was actually pretty good. We, we might, we, uh, but we normally do another one just for safety anyway. Uh, but yeah, it, it doesn't take that long, I don't think. Okay. Now, what is the craziest thing you guys would say you any crazy pranks, stunts? What would you guys say? like? A 24 hour live stream. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. The what? Yeah, that that's that's definitely up there. I think. Oh, what hours. what is what is? Oh, okay. I mean, I've done I've done some stupid stuff. I remember I remember like years ago, years ago I was um on when when Lively was massive. I remember there there was like a time period where Lively was like one of the main live streaming services, and I probably had like a cu a couple thousand, maybe even more people watching it, and I was just getting dares in. Um, and I think, I think one time I literally just like dipped my head in a lake while I was walking. In a lake for literally just a live stream. But the other stupid thing I've done, which was literally like a week or two ago, I poured lemon juice in my eyes thinking this can't be that no. bad, right? And I swear it's the worst thing I think I've ever done. So mistaken. Ow. It it was That's horrible. That's hurting me for you right now. I, oh. I saw it on our TikTok and just went, this is... I, I actually think he might have at first probably thought that I faked it as well. He maybe had had a thought that I could have faked it, but I genuinely... You didn't. so easily could have taken that top off and put water even, in there. Even fans you were saying... just put water Yeah, in. right? Even fans you were saying, why did you not fake it? Why did you not just put water in there? And I was like, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna, you know, pretend. Like, I wanted to go for it. You I wanted, wanted to know what it was oh like. Eyes. So, scale 110, how badly did would you say that hurt you? Oh, I... So, just... I, I'm not going to go into this story too much. I might explain it because, you know, it's fun to tell stories like that. But I've had my ear ripped off my head before. And the okay. pain the pain Ooh. of the lemon juice in my okay. eyes was worse than oh having my your ear ripped off. So, so, Good to know. So I'd probably yeah. say a solid <laughs> eight. Because I know that, okay. you know, if I, if I had an actual limb chopped off, that would probably be worse than lemon juice in my eyes. But, you know, I, I, th I think it's a, definitely a solid eight. Okay. What we're saying is, there. everyone watching this, please don't put lemon juice in your eyes. Don't do it. Try this this guy's a moron. Do not try this at home. Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> All right, last <laughs> question for you guys. Now, your fans want to know what is the best advice you guys would give someone that is wanting to get into the music industry. I honestly think that right now, more than ever, it's so blatantly obvious that the people that are getting to the top are the people that are completely like original and true to their own uh, ideas. Because if you look at people like, I mean, Billie Eilish is one of the sole examples right now. She's Incredible. had this kind of like, I, I guess thing about her where no one can argue that that is her brand. And you know, if anyone tries to copy it, you know, immediately everyone refers back to her now. So that she's, she owns that kind of like style of music. And I think Absolutely, if you can do yeah. that, if you can like, you obviously don't don't do something that you don't enjoy, but like I think that is the one way right now to get into the music industry. But I think for people starting like a bit further back, get yourself out there in any way you can. Really, if you get an opportunity to you know sing in front of even ten to twenty people, do it. You never know who's in that audience. So yeah, I, I think just get getting yourself out there is the most important thing. Good advice. How about you, Max? Um, I, I mean, pretty much all of it was covered by Harvey. Uh, I, I literally ha can hardly think of anything else. <laughs> yeah, I, think, uh, I left yeah, you with a kind of... You did, you did <laughs> kind of leave me with the a scratch. I was the like, he's, he's covering everything. <laughs> but I think if you really take your time on everything and don't rush to be the best, it's all about building. You don't have to get there straight away. Sometimes it takes years and years. For other people, it doesn't take years and years, and, and they're extremely lucky for that. But actually, it's better for you to build a substantial base to then boost yourself from that base because you can't really just soar without a boost. There you go. New, new I love uh, that. life motto. Can't from soar without a oh, boost. Yeah. Don't know.
And I, I've only just looked at what's going on with my hair and I can only apologize. I'm very sorry. Uh, I like it. I love it. Well, guys, thank you so much for being our first guest on this series. You guys are so much fun. No worries. Thank, thank you for you. having thank us. We've had thank a great you time. Thank you, guys. We will talk to you soon. And guys, we will be back on Thursday with other special guests. So stay yes, tuned. Yes, be back on Thursday or we will haunt you. We're going to have the Teletubbies. We'll be in every single one of your houses if you're not back on Thursday. You guys are the best. You're so funny. All right. No. Thank you, guys. Have Bye. a good night. Thank Bye. you. See you later. Bye.